Greetings folks, Irish Trekkie back with part 3 of my Thunderbird 2 build from D'Agostini Model Space. Check out the description below if you want to find out further details on this collection and if you are subscribing be sure to use the discount code in order to get 5% off per month on your Thunderbird 2 subscription. So here we have all the parts, very small and it looks, going, looks like it's going to be a fun build. But uh, look at the detail, even on our Thunderbird and on Thunderbird 4, and even weapons. We have rockets that look like tiny little Thunderbird 1s as well. And on other Thunderbirds, let me know in the comments below what your favourite Thunderbird is. And, not to go into too much detail, why is it your favourite as I drop stuff all around me? So, um, yeah, this is going to be maybe a little bit fiddly of a build for me, as again, I'm not... Uh, expert builder master builder but uh it should be fun and i'm finding this build process actually quite fun as well but i want to tip the hat to model space because the quality of the parts look pretty freaking cool so let's install these back couches here and um, so they seem to kind of go in very similar to the pilot's chair oh as i uh, again i said fiddly um so bit of friction more so on these than the pilot's chair so I probably will dab a little bit of glue on them just to kind of fix them in I don't want them knocking out when I have it all put together but uh, this build is going to have a lot more detail added to the cockpit and the additional weapon system as well so I'm looking forward to all of that coming together and again I want to give a big shout out to Model Space for supplying these as well um, now again my opinions are my own but uh, as I say, these were supplied to me for review. So that is a cool cockpit, isn't it? <laughs> I, I want to I want to command Thunderbird 2. Come on. <laughs> well, at least I'm going to have my own for a while anyway. So uh, here we have our uh, joystick or or what would you call it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's basically, you know, the, the pilot stick anyway. Um, I'm not sure if I need to glue it in. And there's a little bit of back, uh, forwards and backwards movement, but there's no side to side. So maybe it kind of gets locked in a little bit later on in the build. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, maybe I need to reposition it if I want to uh, maybe put someone in the seat later on. Um, so yeah, here we have some more components for the opening hatch and weapon system in here as well. Now what I'm looking forward to on this one is that there is illumination in this uh, build and this component here which shows the back of the cockpit with some nice detailing adds in some transparent perspex that you're going to feed your lighting system into now, i've never done any electronics here but this collection makes it very easy there's a custom board and it's all wired and soldered and everything like that as well so installation is very very easy but i'm looking forward to seeing the rewards of this now, installing it, pretty okay. I'm um, just going to tuck that underneath here. But I, I would be placing a little bit of glue on it um, just to kind of fix it into place. Um, but yeah, that kind of is your illumination housing for the cockpit as well. It goes together pretty easy, I must say. Now, weapon time. Again, the paint app on the small piece is very impressive. Um, and again, the added detail in there, just on like the ribbing uh, in between them on that base. Um, it's pretty cool. I do like it. And even like the the cones and everything like that. Just there's a little bit of detail on the, the, the panel lines. Um, now, the positioning of this is pretty straightforward. And I do end up putting a little bit of glue on it because there's um, a want for a little bit of force in the build as well uh, which I'll highlight later on in the video for you guys but um, yeah never built a weapon well I haven't built a weapon for a long time in a model so as you can see it's coming together there now and um, so what goes down must come up as well so here is the component this is where the force is required so once you line everything up you do need to kind of apply force at both ends for it to actually engage that peg and push it through You'll see what I mean when you, when you get your parts, but don't worry, a little bit of force, not too excessive, but you'll know yourself, you'll feel it as it starts to engage, and uh, that will elevate your rockets or your missiles for yourself. 
So we're going to attach it to our uh, front piece that we got in the first pack. So again, using the screws and screwdriver provided as well. So I just have two more to go. And um, there is a spring in here as well that we will be using later on in the build. But uh, I'm really looking, I'm really loving it kind of fleshing out now. It's not just a, a shell or a piece anymore. It's a collection. It's, it's coming to life, which is really, really cool. So as I say, just a disclaimer, I'm not a master builder. So let me know all the things I'm doing wrong and be sure to educate the community in areas to improve as well on this build. But uh, I only do this to show you guys, kind of point you in the right direction and maybe, you know, uh, give you some inspiration on or want to actually get this collection as well. So here's our retractable hatch and our actioned weapons as well. Everything is going very smoothly, a bit too smoothly, but uh, the fit and finish is good. Um, and that panel is great as well. So we can take out the canopy. I just uh, struggle getting my nail underneath it's probably not long enough for shame on me but uh, it does give you a good view of the cockpit and when there's illumination in there as well that's going to look pretty awesome i'm glad i glued in the seats because uh that would be a pain to get at them if if they fell out for whatever reason but uh, this is going to be a big model now talking about models we have a not so big model thunderbird 4. so let's get her pilot in there as well so I'm gonna use a little bit more glue because uh, doesn't seem to be very deep and again this guy is going to be in his fantastic cockpit here as well so we don't want him falling around the place but look at the detail on the flooring and even on the cockpit itself and there's additional detail on the back part which you'll see later on in the video too um, but that's pretty cool looking forward to getting my own Thunderbird 4 as well <laughs> Will I roleplay some episodes? Maybe. Will you? Let me know in the comments below. And here we have our transparent windows as well, so we can actually see all the detail. That's what's making this collection quite special for me. Um, it's not just a, a, a solid figurine. There, there's components that you do have fun in building, just like the back component here, but you can kind of see in and uh, they look like miniature as I say, props, like miniature machines. Um, building the back parts here shows the quality in the pieces as well, the panel lines, the paint applications, just the overall paint, the yellow and reds, very, very clean, very, very accurate. And look at the detailing on the back piece there for the cockpit too. Now, I felt there was a good bit of friction in this, so I decided not to um, use glue. And these guys worked better by twisting them on rather than pushing them on so they're the engine components there the thrusters or noz nozzles whatever you want to call them so uh yeah there's a little bit of a slit just underneath there that you push the forward section in again just requires a little bit of force as well so just be conscious of that and uh you will get it in it will separate a bit and then just clamp in around itself so there's Thunderbird 4. We just need to put on the front mechanism and the fin. And uh, she'll be looking pretty awesome. It's a good size as well, these auxiliary crafts. Like we saw the chase car. And now we have our Thunderbird 4 as well. So only 18 to go. Imagine, 18 more of them. Gonna be cool. And uh, voila, there is our Thunderbird 4. So yeah, like again, even on these small little auxiliary pieces, the quality is as such that you'd find on Thunderbird 2 as well. So again, down to the decals, the paint apps, and just the overall sculpt of the model pieces as well. Pretty good. And I say, I find in the build quite enjoyable as well because it's going smoothly. There's no stress so far, touch wood. So kind of wrapping up there, there's our two finished pieces so far in pack three. Uh, stay tuned for pack four and do check out the playlist for packs one and two as well and check out the description box for all the subscription details and be sure to use the discount when subscribing because you will get five percent off your subscription as well so thanks for taking the time out of your day to check out the video and i will see you in the next one take it easy and goodbye